Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to your love and romance. Let's get right into your reading, Aries. Okay, now you're starting off with the Seven of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Okay, now your partner's cards is the Death card, the Page of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Hanged Man, the Knight of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Okay. All right. So Aries, how you're viewing the situation or the person of your interest. There's a lot of confusion going on with you. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be confusion in regards to um, Perhaps not really understanding, you're not really knowing how to communicate with the person of your interest or with your partner. Now, the Four of Pentacles does talk about beholding or wanting to behold. I feel that for some of you guys, you see this person very reserved. Or for uh, for some of you guys, this could even represent like uns uh, being unsure in regards to what it is that they want. With the Two of Pentacles, a lot of inconsistency. So it could be that communication is not as great or ideal as you would want. For others of you, this could represent almost a feeling like they only communicate or they only reach out um, when you do. So it's almost a feeling like kind of like hard work or putting too much work into the situation with the three of cups and the four of wands. I see for some of you guys, um, it could be that it's it. it this is a person that is very connected to their family life or to the family dynamic. So it could be a person that is very reclusive in regards to um, not only their everyday life, but they could be like extremely family is very important to them. Now, the reason why this is coming up is with the three of wands. For some of you guys, you're wanting expansion or you're, you're wanting to move forward in this relationship um, perhaps for some of you Aries as well, uh, commitment or monogamy could be an issue. It's almost like you're constantly asking yourself if this is something that you would be willing to either put the effort or either be uh, almost like being pulled towards. There's something about you, Aries, um, that I'm sensing like resistance. So it could be that you're unsure if you want something long term as an example if this person is very connected to the family dynamic um it's almost as if like you you know that they're not the type to either rush into relationships or they're not the type uh to take you know casual dating to them it, it it's something that has to be nurtured and perhaps there's a bit of resistance in this aspect with you aries so the question here uh, then becomes, um, is it insecurities about yourself that are currently influencing this connection? Is it that you perhaps feel like you're unsure or not really, um, not necessarily, you know, sure or positive that you're wanting this to turn into something long term? Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for some of you guys outside, uh, people from your relationship could be currently influencing. It could be relatives. It could be people that are around your partner and you almost see it as, you know, that they really take their advises uh, or people that come to them and give them advice in regards to the relationship. They kind of take it at face value. And it's almost kind of irritating to you, Aries, because there's a feeling of, you know, you you need to learn to put myself, um, meaning you, Aries, like you need to learn to put uh, you as a priority. And it's almost the feeling like, well, where do I fit in your lifestyle? So for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a person that is very connected to family dynamic. 
Uh, for others of you, it could be that this person almost seems oblivious to the fact that they that you are interested in them or perhaps uh, the effort that you put into trying to communicate um, because I do see like like I said I see confusion but it has more to do with your wants and your needs Aries now in regards to how the partner or the person of your interest is looking at the situation we have the death card here so the death card does talk about transformation so there is transformation that's happening um, for some of you Aries, you may have children. So this is something that is playing a very important role in how your partner or the person that is interested in you uh, sees you. Um, so it could be almost like um, not an issue that you have kids, but it could be something that they do have that in their mind. Um, and it does play a role in how they want to pursue this relationship. With the strength card, I see them very confident this is a person that is very confident a person that has uh perhaps very strong personality uh with the hanged man it's almost like difficult for them to get out of being stuck or feeling like you know everything around them has responsibilities and they're like prioritizing and sometimes even to them it could almost feel like love to them becomes something that will be put in the back burner um, as I do have here, the Knight of Cups. So they are interested in you. I do see them being receptive to that energy, but at the same time, they have a lot of things going on right now. So it could be almost the feeling like they're distracted or they're not giving you enough time or effort. Um, but because they have goals and they have aspirations, now we do have the Two of Wands here. Uh, partnerships is something that they're looking for. But at the present time, they're not really focusing or nurturing that side only because they're in their pursuit to stability or their pursuit of goals. Um, so let me pull out one card here for you guys. Um, so you have the compassion card. Uh, dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. So we go uh, back to the, the feeling with your cards here, Aries, the feeling of like there's some doubt in you. It could be doubt that perhaps you feel like you're never going to find, you know, a person that wants and desires the same things you do. For others of you, it could be that you've been single for quite a while and, and you're starting to question yourself. You're starting to question if this connection or if you yourself will ever be able to settle or to find monogamy in a relationship. Maybe for some of you guys, it could even be that there's blockages. Uh, perhaps you've become accustomed to a casual relationships and it's almost like you're questioning yourself if you're even capable of committing at this point. Um, but again, with the compassion card, you need to give yourself more credit and open yourself up. If in the past with the death card you tried a relationship or it's been a turbulent relationship and it just hasn't worked out, it doesn't mean that it's not, you know, that you're not going to be able to find the stability perhaps you're just hoping for other people to change and that's where you need to step back and you know kind of self realize uh, that some people just don't want to change and sometimes we got to walk away from that to be able to go towards something new and something that is going to give you uh, grander results all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon bye